All right, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. We're kicking off Monday with an excellent workout. So first, our warm up, six minute AMRAP. Starting with 10 jumping jacks. That's right, 10 jumping jacks. We're going right into this, bam. As soon as we get through those, we go 10 single leg toe touch. So this is focused on a hinge. So half a step forward, hips go back, I'm reaching down towards my toes, and then I stand back up, also known as the bend and snap. That's right, we're going bend and snap, down and up, feeling tension in the back of that forward leg, and then we'll hit the other leg. Bam, too easy. Then we move on to 10 lunges. So driving that knee down, keeping that front shin nice and vertical, and then pressing back. The 10 lunges. Then we're gonna go 10 pass-throughs with a PVC pipe. Start with a nice wide grip, keeping those arms straight. Oh, you don't have a PVC pipe? That's okay. You can also use a broom stick or a mop stick, whatever. Um, I'll go snag that real quick. All right, now, so got my broom, All right? If you don't have a broom, you can always come back, use a mop. Uh, whatever it is you find. Uh, so again, those pass-throughs with your broomstick, not, not cleaning the house anymore, using that for a little mobility. Uh, you can hold the end of it here if yours is not quite as long as needed to complete those reps. Once you get through the little AMRAP here uh, for the workout, how about a little assistant here? Uh, for the workout, you're gonna have two rounds through. Uh, it's thrusters, straight press, deadlifts, overhead squats, and sit-ups. And you might be wondering what you're going to do instead of using a barbell. And that is what this little unit here is for. Uh, if you are one of the lucky few that has your home gym, you have a barbell, and you want to do this with a little extra weight, go ahead and bust that out. Uh, but you've got thrusters right into strict pull-ups. So this is definitely going to get the arms and shoulders going. Still trying to keep a little front rack position here. Of course, you're not going to be able to let it sit on the body uh, without that weight. But we're still going through a good full squat, get that press and head through at the top of the rep. So you've got 30 thrusters, and then right after the 30, we're going right to 20 strict reps. Um, definitely going to start to feel the shoulders burning through those reps. Um, but really try to think about it like a superset. As soon as you finish those thrusters, get through those 20. Uh, then you're going to give your shoulders a moment to recover. We're going to get 30 deadlifts. So really thinking about form here. Push those hips back. Keep that broomstick handle right on the body. You should literally be able to feel the bar and hear it dragging down the body. Use this as a time to really work on form of keeping that bar nice and close. Overhead squats. All right, so we're taking that up and overhead. Holding everything nice and locked out, keeping tension, hips back, knees traveling out through that full squat. Again, that bar should be right on the back of the head over the body. We don't want it way back here. We don't want arms bent or just hanging out in front. We want to really focus on keeping that position just like we do while we're in here with the weights. After that, we got our sit ups. All right, so you come on down. Might not have ab mats at home. You don't necessarily need one, uh, but if you do want something to kind of protect the back, we can grab a pillow, put down behind us, or you can get some towels to put down behind you. Uh, and then we're getting just like our push-ups, I'm sorry, our sit-ups as normal, going through fit. Now, if you don't have a broomstick, you don't have a mop, you don't have any long object that you can use whatsoever, uh, then something that you can do is you can just do them all body right? And though it might look odd, it's okay. You're still gonna get a workout, you're still gonna get a little bit burned, so you're still doing thrusters, and you just have to envision that good lockout while still getting strict press, uh, still doing deadlifts, right? And then overhead squats. And now you might think, that you're not really gonna get a whole lot out of it without holding on to something, but your arms are going to start burning. Uh, you're gonna start to feel it in the shoulders a lot and in the core a lot, especially with the sit up there at the end. Two rounds for time. And as soon as you finish those two rounds, we're going right into some shoulder and chest stretch. So we're going to spend about 30 seconds on each. So I'm gonna take 
You can find yourself a door frame. Some of you may have some doors in your house or apartment. So go to that door frame, take that tricep, rise against there, and step through. Make sure we keep the arm nice and close to the head. And I'm just going to push forward, get a nice little stretch right here. Okay, so we'll hang out there, 15 seconds or so. Then I come out, place the palm of the hand on that door frame, look away and get a nice little stretch through the front of the pec there and outside the shoulder. So again, we're gonna spend about 30 seconds on each side. Have fun.